Welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful baby blanket. This is the Snowdrop Baby Blanket number two. There is a first version. The only difference is the border. I'll leave the link to that first baby blanket using the same stitch pattern, the Snowdrop stitch, down here in the information box. As I was making the border for that first baby blanket, I mentioned that I was going to make an extended version of the border. So here's that second tutorial for those of you who have commented and asked that i make this tutorial here it is i hope you like it now to make this baby blanket you can make it for boys and girls i used this yarn now you can also use any yarn weight with any hook size for my baby blanket i used a total of 840 grams which is about 1800 yards in the color blue which is only a little bit that we used here around the border it's about 23 grams now you can also make the baby blanket smaller or bigger Bigger. at the end of the tutorial i leave you the finished measurement you can easily adjust the size make it smaller or bigger with the stitch multiple that i'm going to provide you with at the beginning of the tutorial and like i said you can use any yarn weight with any hook size now if you're going to add a ribbon this is the ribbon that i used this is 3 8 of an inch wide and you're going to need about two spools okay so now let's get started don't forget to subscribe activate the notifications bell and remember all of my tutorials are always in english and in Spanish and if you prefer a written pattern check out my Etsy shop I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop up here on the right hand side and in the information box below thank you so much for your support okay to crochet this baby blanket I'll be using this six millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this style craft special air and weight yarn as I mentioned at the beginning of the tutorial you can use any yarn weight with any hook size the important thing is a stitch multiple to this pattern which is multiples of three for my baby blanket I have a total of 123 chains this chain without stretching it's measuring about 37 inches which is about 94 centimeters if you want your baby blanket to be smaller or bigger, you can add or remove chains in multiples of three. At the end of the video, I'll go ahead and leave you the final size measurement of my finished blanket, so be sure to look there for the final size so here to begin like i said i have 123 chains on the second chain from the hook one two into the second chain here make a single crochet single crochet into the next chain single crochet into the next and so on for this first row this is all i'm going to do i'm just going to make single crochets on each chain at the end of this first row i'm going to have 122 single crochets continue i'll meet you at the end of this first row I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where I did single crochets. I have a total of 122 single crochets. Now for the second row, chain two and turn. Now into the third single crochet, counting from the beginning, one, two, three, into this third single crochet here, make two double crochets. Chain one, chain two, chain one, single crochet into the same stitch. Now skip one, two, and into the third single crochet. Once again, make two double crochets. Chain one, single crochet. One more time, skip one, two, and into the third single crochet, make two double crochets. Chain one, single crochet. This is how we're going to continue for the rest of this second row. Continue, I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 40 of these shells that consist of two double crochets, chain one, single crochet. Now here at the end, I have two single crochets left into the last single crochet here at the end, make a single crochet. Now for the third row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now, this is the row that we're going to repeat from here on. We have the first shell, we have our chain one space. Into this chain one space here, make two double crochets. Chain one, and then we have the two double crochets. Into the first double crochet right here, make a front pull single crochet. One more time, we have the second shell. Into the chain space here, make two double crochets chain one 
and then into the first double crochet out of these two right here work a front post single crochet one more time into the chain space of the next shell make two double crochets chain one front post single crochet into the first double crochet and this is all we're going to do for this third row continue i'll meet you at the end I'm at the end of the third row. I have a total of 40 of these shells again. Remember that this is the row that we're going to repeat from here on. Now to finish the row here at the end, we have two chains. I'm going to finish my row by going into the second chain, which is this one here at the top right there. And I'm going to make a single crochet. That's how I finish the third row. Now for the fourth row, chain two and turn. You always begin with two chains and you always end with a single crochet just like I did here at the end. Now here we have the first shell into the chain space. We're going to make two double crochets, chain one, and then a front pull single crochet into the first double crochet. Again, we have the second shell into the chain space make two double crochets, chain one, front pull single crochet into the first double crochet. One more time into the chain space, make two double crochets, chain one, front pull single crochet. Continue like this to the end of this fourth row. I'll meet you there. I'm here at the end of the fourth row. Now here at the end to finish the row, remember we have two chains into the second chain here make a single crochet and this is how i finish this fourth row now from here on we're just going to keep on repeating the same row so for the fifth row chain two and turn we have the first shell we have a chain space make two double crochets into this chain space here chain one and then a front post single crochet one more time into the second shell into the chain space make two double crochets chain one front pull single crochet into the first double crochet and that's how you work the snowdrop crochet stitch pattern it's absolutely beautiful you're just going to continue and repeat the same row over and over until you have the size that you want i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do but continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do for my baby blanket so i will meet you at the end of that row i'm almost done with the baby blanket look how beautiful this stitch pattern is I absolutely love this. Now I have done a total of 79 pattern rows plus the first row that we did here of single crochets. I have 80 rows total. Now I'm not going to make any more rows. If you want to make this bigger, you can. I'm only going to do these 80 rows. As it is, it's measuring about 34 inches long by 40 inches wide. So I'm going to leave my blanket like this. If you want to make it bigger, you can. Um, I have used so far 590 grams of yarn. Now what we're going to do next is the border. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make single crochets all around. Now the border that I'm going to show you, you can make it on any blanket with any stitch pattern. The important thing is that you have the same number of stitches. For example, if on this side you have 80 stitches on the other side you're going to make sure to have 80 stitches and for the top and bottom if you have 90 stitches then that's the important thing make sure that you have the same number of stitches also make sure to start your border on the right side of your blanket if you start it on the wrong side then the border is going to be on the wrong side and the corners they need to be worked exactly how i'm going to show you so this here is going to be the fourth corner so i'm going to work that corner last so i'm going to continue along this side first so to do this first First row I'm going to chain one here's my last stitch this is a half double crochet so right into this half double crochet make a single crochet now I have these chain two I'm going to make two single crochets then I have the next row make a single crochet and again I have two chains make two single crochets and this is how I'm going to continue all around Now, if you have different stitches here at the end, this is how um, I usually work mine. If I have a double crochet at the end, then what I do is make two single crochets. If I have a single crochet or a half double crochet, then 
I make one. Or if I have two chains or three chains at the end, I always make two. Um, the important thing here is that you don't add too many single crochets and that way this part here lays nice and flat. And again, making sure that both sides have the same number of stitches and the top and bottom as well. So this is all I'm going to do here all around, just making one single crochet and then two where I have the two chains. So continue like this, making single crochets. I will meet you right here. This is going to be the first corner. I finished making single crochets along this side. Now up to here, this is the single crochet row. I have 119 single crochets. Now into the next row, which is the row of chains right here, I'm going to make this my first corner. So in this corner here, I'm going to make three single crochets. Now place a stitch marker to mark the second single crochet, which is the middle stitch right there. And now we're going to continue along this side, making single crochets on each one of these stitches in the same stitch that we did the single crochet. So these are the chains. So right where we did the single crochets into that same stitch, you're going to make a single crochet to make this part here easier. So continue along and work one single crochet until you come here to the second corner i will meet you here to show you what we need to do next i finished making these single crochets along the bottom here i have a total of 120 single crochets counting after the third single crochet here for the first corner so here's the second here's the third so from this one here up to here i have 120 single crochets so now into this last stitch here i'm going to turn this into the second corner so here i'm going to make three single crochets there now i'm going to place a stitch marker to mark the second stitch here this is the center stitch and now I'm going to continue along this side and make single crochets. So here, make a single crochet into this next row and then into the next, make two. This part here is the same how we worked the first side and I'm going to make sure to have the same number of stitches. So continue along this side, making sure to make the same number of single crochets as you did for the first side. I will meet you right here. This is going to be the third corner and then I'll show you what we need to do next. I finished making these single crochets along this side here. I have a total of 119 single crochets, not counting the three single crochets that we did here for the second corner. So from here up to this last one that I did here into this chain space, I have 119 single crochets. Now into this next stitch here, right? I'm going to go through the space here. I'm going to make my third corner. So I'm going to make three single crochets here. Now place a stitch marker into the second single crochet. So right there to mark this center stitch of this corner. So now we're going to continue along the top and work. Let's see, we have two double crochets and a single crochet. So we're going to make three single crochets here. Let me show you. This is the first fan. So on top of the first two double crochets, make a single crochet. Now skip the chain space and into the front post single crochet, make a single crochet. Let me show you again. We have the next one, make a single crochet into the next two double crochets, skip the chain space and into the front post single crochet, make a single crochet. So this is how we're going to work the top part of the blanket here. This is the last row that I did before I started the border. So continue. I will meet you here at the end. This is where we're going to make the fourth corner. So continue and I'll meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these single crochets along the top. Now up to here, this is my last stitch. I have 120 single crochets. Now into this next space here, I'm going to make my fourth corner. So here I'm going to make three single crochets. Now before you continue, don't forget to place a stitch marker here into the second 
single crochet to mark the center and now we're going to go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how i finished the first row where i did single crochets all around now for each one of the sides we have 119 single crochets for the top and bottom we have 120 single crochets and on each corner we have three single crochets so if we count all of these single crochets including the corners I have 490 single crochets. Now for the second row, I'm going to chain two and right into the same stitch that we joined to, which is the first single crochet, I'm going to make a double crochet. Make a double crochet into the next single crochet, double crochet into the next, and so on. Here for this second row, this is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to work double crochets all around. I want there to be a space here so that when the blanket is done i'm going to weave a ribbon through this row here so continue like this i will meet you right here this is the first corner i will meet you right here and show you how we're going to work each one of the corners I finished making these double crochets along this first side. I have a total of 120 double crochets here for this side. My next stitch here is the corner stitch, so where we have the stitch marker. So into this corner stitch, I'm going to make a V-stitch. So make a double crochet, two chains, one double crochet and this is how you're going to work each one of the corners now you're going to continue along and work double crochets here for the bottom part until you come to the second corner into each one of the corners you're going to repeat the same thing you're going to make a v-stitch exactly how I showed you here so continue along and finish this second row I will meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next I finished making these double crochets for the top I have a total of 122 double crochets here for the top. Now I have my corner here. So into this next stitch, I'm going to make my V stitch. So make a double crochet, two chains, one double crochet. Now I have one double crochet left and this is part of this side. So I'm going to make a double crochet here. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet, not the chains, and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this second row. Now for the top and bottom, you should have 122 double crochets. For the sides, you should have 121 double crochets plus the stitches here on the corners, which we have two times four, that's eight stitches more. So in total, 494 double crochets at the end of the second row. Now for the third row, chain three and turn. These three chains do not count as a stitch. We're going to work this next row from the wrong side. So into these next two, make a front post double crochet. Now, the reason why I turned is because uh, front post double crochets are easier to make. I could have just continued along this side and made back post double crochets, but um, front post double crochets are easier to make and faster, so that's why we turned. Now, into the chain two space of each corner, I'm going to make a V-stitch. So make a double crochet, two chains, double crochet. And then I'm going to continue for these stitches here for the top and work a front post double crochet on each double crochet like this. That's all we're going to do on each one of the double crochets. A front post double crochet in each corner is going to be worked exactly in the same way. So this here is the fourth corner since we're working from the back side. So continue, I will meet you right here. This is the third corner to show you once again how to work each one of the corners from here on for this third row. I finished making these front post double crochets here for the top part. This is the third corner. I'm going to, let's see, up to here I have a total of 124 double crochets counting from this first stitch here, not the V-stitch. So from here up to here I have a total of 124 double crochets. Now into this third corner, into the chain 2 space, we're going to make a V-stitch. So into each corner, you're going to make a V-stitch as well. And now you're just going to continue along for the side here. 
and work a front post double crochet on each one of these double crochets along this side and when you get to the second corner remember we're working on the wrong side here when you get to the second corner you're going to make a v stitch as well and then work the stitches for the bottom side and then in the first corner you're going to do the exact same thing so continue like this for this third row just making front post double crochets and then in each corner making v stitches i will meet you at the end of this third row i'm almost done with this third row now up to here i have 120 double crochets counting from this corner here not the stitches here in the corner but rather this one here up to here i have 120 i have the last double crochet here so here i'm going to work a front post double crochet so that's 121 i have the three chains which i told you do not count so to finish here i'm just going to go here on top of the first double crochet and i'm going to join with a slip stitch so here for this side i had 121 then the three chains 22 23 so for this side here i have 123 double crochets make sure you do not count the three chains the three chains are there so that there's no gap between the last and the first stitch there so now at the end of this third row for the top and bottom you should have 124 double crochets not counting the corners and then for the sides 123 double crochets now if you count all of the stitches including the corners you should have a total of 502 double crochets at the end of this third row so now for the fourth row i'm going to turn do not chain or anything just turn now what I'm going to do here is these are the chains. I'm going to go into the next double crochet, which is the last one that I did, and I'm going to make a slip stitch here. There. So if you count from this corner, the chain two, we have one, two, three. These are the chains. So into the fourth double crochet, I'm right there, right on top. So right here, I'm going to work a fan. So chain three these three chains do count now and then make two double crochets chain one and right into this same double crochet make three double crochets so we're going to be making these fans now so each fan is going to consist of three double crochets one chain three double crochets now skip two double crochets and into the third here make a front post double crochet skip two double crochets and into the third on top make a fan again skip one two and into the third double crochet make a front post double crochet now skip one two and on top of the third make a fan and this is all we're going to do here to the first corner again skip two and into the third make a front post double crochet skip two and into the third on top make a fan and this is how we're going to continue here until we come to the first corner now we may need to make some adjustments because i need to finish this row with a front post double crochet because on each corner i'm going to be making fans so continue finish this side and i will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next i finished making these fans here along the side up to here i have 20 fans here i did a front post double crochet so i skipped two after the fan and into the third i did a front post double crochet now i have four stitches left one two three four so here we're going to make a small adjustment here because i don't have enough stitches and i need to finish with a front post double crochet my next stitch here needs to be a fan so what i'm going to do is i'm going to skip the next double crochet and into the second here i'm going to make a fan So 
So now along this side here, I have 21 fans. Skip the next double crochet and into the first double crochet here of the V stitch for the corner, make a front post double crochet and into the chain space here of the V stitch, make a fan. Now make a front post double crochet into the second double crochet of this v-stitch and here is the first corner. So all we're going to do is a front post fan front post double crochet. Now we're going to continue for the bottom part here. So same thing. I'm going to skip two and into the third here I'm going to make a fan. skip two and into the third make a front post double crochet skip two on top of the third make a fan and then continue along for the bottom part until you come to the second corner i will meet you right here to show you how we're going to work the second corner I finished making these fans for the bottom part. I have a total of 21 fans here for the bottom. Here's the second corner. I have two double crochets left. I have this one and then the one here for the corner. So into this last double crochet here, make a front post double crochet. Now into the second corner in the chain space here, make a fan. Now into the next double crochet, which is part of the V-stitch here, make a front post double crochet. Now we're going to continue along this second side. Here I'm going to make sure to have 21 fans because that's how many I had for the first side. So to begin here, I'm going to skip two double crochets, these next two, and into the third here, I'm going to make a fan. Now skip two double crochets and into the third, make a front post double crochet. Skip two double crochets and on top of the third, make a fan. And this is how you're going to continue until you come here to the next corner, which is the third corner. I will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these fans along the second side here. I have 20 fans up to here. Now I have four double crochets left, two, four. I'm going to skip one and into the next here, I'm going to make my last fan so that for this side, I have 21 fans, which is the same number of fans as we did for the first side. So each side has 21 fans, the bottom has 21 as well, and for the top we're going to make sure to have 21. So here's fan number 21, skip one double crochet and into this corner double crochet, make a front post double crochet and into the third corner make a fan. Now into the corner double crochet here, make a front post double crochet and now for the top we're going to continue in the same way. Skip two and on top of the third I'm going to make a fan. Skip two and into the third make a front post double crochet, skip two and on top of the next a fan. Continue like this along the top part. I will meet you here. This is the fourth corner to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these fans here for the top part here. Now here's the fourth corner. I have my last fan. I have 21 fans. So here at the end into this corner double crochet, I'm going to make a front post double crochet and into the fourth corner, I'm going to make my fan. Now into the second double crochet of this corner, make a front post double crochet. Now to finish this fourth row, we're going to go here to the beginning. We have the three chains and then we have the double crochet right in the middle between these two stitches. I'm going to join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish 
the fourth row. At the end of this fourth row, you should have a total of 88 fans. Each one of the sides has 21 fans and on each corner we have a fan. Now I'm going to continue with the extended version of this border. So for row five here, I'm going to make three slip stitches. One, two, three. The third one is going to be inside the chain space. Let's see. A slip stitch on top of the next, a slip stitch on top of the next double crochet, and the third inside the chain space. Now, once I'm here, I'm going to make three chains. These three chains here counts as one double crochet. Now, I'm going to make two double crochets chain one and then three double crochets so for this fifth row what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make fans on top of each fan and i'm going to do them exactly how we did in the first row now between the fans we have the front post double crochet so you just make a front post double crochet now we have the next fan in the chain space make a fan Again, each fan is going to consist of three double crochets, one chain, and then three double crochets. And that's how I'm going to continue here until I come to the first corner. Here you're going to make a front post inside the fan, a fan, and then a front post, and then continue like that until you come here to the first corner. I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to work the corners for this fifth row. I finished making these fans along the first side. I have 21 fans. Now here I'm going to make a front post double crochet. And in the corner fan, right here in the chain space, I'm going to make four double crochets. There are four double crochets, chain two, and then four double crochets. So each corner fan is now going to consist of four double crochets, two chains, four double crochets there. Now we're going to continue and work a front post double crochet and then in the chain space of the next fan make a normal fan. The normal fans are three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets. So continue like this till you come to the next corner in the next corner, you're going to do exactly the same thing I did here for this first corner. So continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this fifth row. I'm here at the end of the fifth row. Here's the fourth corner. Now to finish here, don't forget to make a front post double crochet here at the end. And then to finish, you just go in between the two stitches here at the beginning, the three chains and the first double crochet, and join with a slip stitch. And here is the fifth row with a total of 88 fans. Each side has 21 fans, and on each corner we have a fan. The corner fans consist of four double crochets, two chains, four double crochets. Now for row six, we're going to make three slip stitches again. So beginning on top of the next double crochet, make a slip stitch on top of the next, a slip stitch in the chain space, make a slip stitch. Now here we're going to repeat the same thing. I'm going to make three chains and then two double crochets, one chain, three double crochets. And then in between the fans, just make a front post double crochet in the next fan on top, make another fan and so on until you come to the first corner. I will meet you there to show you how we're going to work each corner for the sixth row. I finished making these fans along this side for the sixth row. I have the first corner here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work a front post double crochet 
And in this corner fan in the chain two space here, I'm going to make five double crochets. That's one, two, three, four, five. Chain two, and then five double crochets. There, that's how we're going to work each one of the corners, five double crochets, two chains, five double crochets, and then a front post double crochet. And in here, just continue with the regular fans of three double crochets, one chain, three double crochets, until you come to the next corner where you're going to do exactly the same thing. And this is how we're going to continue for row six. Continue, finish this row, I will meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of the sixth row. Here's the last corner, and here's the front post double crochet. To finish, just go here in the middle between these first two stitches and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the sixth row. At the end of this row, I have 88 fans. Remember that for this row, each corner consists of five double crochets, two chains, five double crochets. Now I'm going to make one more row, but if you want to leave it like this or make more rows, you're just going to continue with the same sequence. For example, in this row here, we had three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets. In the next row, we had four double crochets, two chains, four double crochets. In this row six, we had five double crochets, two chains, five double crochets. So for row seven, I'm going to make six double crochets, two chains, six double crochets, and then if I want to make another row, then that would be seven double crochets, two chains, seven double crochets here in the corner. I'm not going to make too many rows here. I'm only going to make one more row. So to do this here, I'm going to go right here and make these three slip stitches so that I'm here inside the chain space of this first fan. Once here, I'm going to chain three, and then I'm going to make two double crochets. One chain, and then three double crochets. There, and then a front post double crochet. Now, make sure that these front post double crochets are nice and loose, and they are at the same level of this double crochet here of this fan. I'm going to continue like this for this seventh row. Once I get here to the corner, like I said, all you're going to do is inside this chain two space, you're going to make six double crochets, two chains, six double crochets, and that's how you're going to work each corner for this seventh row, and then continue and just finish. Um, I will meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to work the last row for this baby blanket. I finished making the last row, row seven. Now here at the end, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and pass my yarn through that last loop. So this part here is done. If you want to make more rows to make the border wider, you can. You can just continue and just follow the same sequence here uh, for the corners. I'm just going to make one more row. This row here is optional as it is. The baby blanket is done. This is how it would look if you were to leave it like this. Here's one of the corners. I'm going to go ahead and remove the pink just so that I can keep the original um, snowdrop baby blanket different from this second version. So I'm going to use blue instead for the um, extended version here of the border. So to do this, I'm going to use this number three yarn, which is um, lighter than the yarn that I used to make the whole blanket. I used number four yarn. You can also use DK weight or number three or a ply. I'm using number three yarn and I'm using this four millimeter crochet hook you can also use 3.5 or 4.5 just whatever hook size you're using just go down a half a hook size or a full hook size i'm going to use a four millimeter hook here to begin we're going to go here to the beginning here's the last uh, front post double crochet that i did so right next to it insert your hook grab a loop here and bring it through now chain three one two three now we're going to go in between 
these two double crochets for the first fan and make a slip stitch chain three go in between the next two double crochets and make a slip stitch chain three and right in the center of the fan where we have the chain space make a single crochet three chains single crochet again chain three and in between the next two double crochets make a slip stitch chain three and in between the next two a slip stitch make sure that when you make these slip stitches you go in between the stitches not on top um, i like the way how this looks as you can see it leaves a nice space around the fan so that's what we want now chain three again one two three and we're going to go right here right in the middle between the front post and this last double crochet so there make a slip stitch and into the next space this one here after the front post double crochet make a slip stitch and now begin again with chain three between the first two double crochets make a slip stitch chain three a slip stitch between the next two chain three and right in the middle of the fan in the chain space make a single crochet three chains single crochet chain three slip stitch between the next two double crochets chain three slip stitch between the next two chain three slip stitch between the last double crochet and the front post double crochet skip the front post double crochet and go into the next space between the front post and the first double crochet of the next fan and make a slip stitch chain three a slip stitch between the next two double crochets of the next fan chain three slip stitch between the next two chain three and a single crochet in the chain space of the fan chain three and a single crochet again in the chain one space and then do the same thing i think you get the point here what we're doing let me show you how it looks this is what we want this nice edge all around i'm going to continue like this until i come here to the first corner i'm going to meet you right here to show you how we're going to work each one of the corner fans okay i finished making these chains with slip stitches for this side i have the first corner here what i'm going to do is here's the last slip stitch that i did after the front post double crochet so now i'm going to chain three skip these two double crochets and into the space after the second double crochet right in the middle make a slip stitch chain three skip two and in the space after make a slip stitch chain three and now in the chain two space which is the center of this fan make a single crochet three chains single crochet now chain three one two three skip two and in the next space between the next two make a slip stitch chain three skip two and in the next space between the next two make a slip stitch chain three and now right before the front post make a slip stitch and after the front post a slip stitch and then from here it's the same as we did the other fans chain three in between the next two double crochets make a slip stitch chain three in between the next two a slip stitch chain three and then single crochet chain three single crochet and so on this is how you're going to work each one of the corner fans so continue go ahead and finish this row eight i'll come back and show you what we need to do next 
I'm here at the end of the eighth row. This is where we did chains with slip stitches all around with this blue yarn. Now to finish, I just went here to the beginning. This is where I have that first chain. Join with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and the border is all done and this is how it looks. Now, let me give you the finished measurements. Um, without the border, it's measuring 37 inches long by 40 inches wide. With the border, you're going to add an extra four and a half inches from here up to here it's about four and a half inches so the finished measurement with the border it's about 41.5 inches long by 44.5 inches wide now as far as yarn in white you're going to need about 840 grams which is about 1800 yards and in blue, it's about 23 grams. We don't need too much here. The baby blanket is all done. This is how it looks. Now, as you can see, I have started to weave a ribbon here. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut four pieces, um, whatever the measurement is for the length, that's how you're going to cut it, plus about 24 inches more so that you can tie a bow here right in the center. After you have cut, the um, ribbon to the measurement that I mentioned, all you need to do is with a yarn needle, you're going to take one of the ends and you're going to start here, right in the corner. You're going to go in and out through this row of double crochets. Now, this is very tedious. You're going to have lots of patience when you do this because you're going to have to fix the ribbon as you do this. So what I like to do is just pull the ribbon all the way to the very end, leaving those um, 12 inches on either side to tie a bow. And then you just weave a couple of stitches and then go back and fix um, the ribbon here. You just have to play around with it and fix it like this. And you're going to do this on all four sides like this. So here at the end, you're going to have some ribbon left over and this is where you're going to either tie a little bow like this. I'm sure it's going to be nicer. I'm doing this a little bit faster. I'm going to fix mine. And then I'm just going to attach a little bow like this right in the center. And that's how I'm going to finish mine off. Um, at the end, I'll leave you some uh, pictures of my finished baby blankets. So that's it. For those of you who were asking for the extended version of this um, border, here it is. I hope you like it. So this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.